Welcome back to Paleo, guys. The Maji Market event is officially here upon us, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks so you guys can play the event efficiently. So the very first tip that I have will bring us to the Killama Village, and specifically the Fast Travel Board. You can access this Fast Travel Board, and you can see you can actually instantly teleport to the market itself. You don't actually have to physically run there, even though I see players constantly running all the way across Killama to try to get there on time. Just Simply hang around, utilize the fast traveling board to your advantage because it will speed up your traveling time and allow you to get there on time for any events. And speaking on that, a little side note here, the Maji Market events only take place through certain time periods inside of Palea. That is 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. Once again, this is inside game time for Palea. That's when you want to head over to the Maji Market as the events will be taking place. Now, diving into the second tip I have for you, and that brings us to Kenyatta's Craving Quest. Quest. As you complete the quest throughout the Maji Market, you'll find all the NPCs have a little bit of a quest line for you to complete. But either way, this quest line is going to make you go to Reth Stall and actually buy a food item. It doesn't really matter which food item that you buy to bring back to her to complete the quest. So in my personal opinion, I highly recommend that you buy the cheapest food option, which is likely the Stinky Tofu, to complete the quest efficiently and cost you the least amount of gold. Now the truth is, completing these quests, you actually get some gold back. So if you do buy the stinky tofu, you'll actually make quite a bit of money because you'll save a ton by buying the cheapest item and then gifting that. And also, it doesn't really matter which gift you give her because you complete the quest all the same. You don't get any additional bonuses for buying the more expensive gifts. So play the game efficiently and save on some gold. And once again, speaking of games, this brings us to the mini game that you can play via the Maji Market, and that is the Choppa Chase. Between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., again, Paleo time, this event will pretty much activate for every everybody with inside of the Maji market on your server. What's going to happen is these choppas that are currently in this pin will then, you know, go everywhere and you will have to collect them. Every single player will be participating. You collect them by pressing F on your keyboard. Your character will pick up the individual choppa with this lovely adorable hat and then you run them back to the fence. Obviously, it'll just auto deposit them back into the fence and then it will score a certain amount. Obviously, you want to collect as many choppas as you possibly can. Place them into the event because as soon as 3 a.m. does officially hit, then your total will be tallied up and a certain number of tickets will be rewarded to you. And now when it comes to these tickets, I really advise you to be mindful of how you spend them because even though this event does last an entire month in the game, which seems like a ton of time, it's really going to depend on how often you are actually playing this mini game as this is the only way to accumulate tickets. So you have to make sure you're playing this to accumulate more tickets. So you want to make sure that you either are playing enough to get the items that you specifically want or you're playing a little amount and then obviously saving your tickets for something grand and although the event is very easy to understand you run around and pick up the choppas unfortunately there is a lot of people that have discovered the spawn points for these choppas and they're just purely standing there and camping them so obviously if you want any chance to even battle these guys I would highly recommend just standing there and picking up these individual choppas at their spawn points until the developers figure out some sort of way to fix this issue because if, if not you're going to get completely outdone by all these campers now alongside the choppa chase of event another big thing that I recommend every player to do is actually open up your inventory tab and then head over to the last tab here which is actually events from here you can see a lot more including these event exclusive achievements by completing these you'll actually get bonus rewards so you want to make sure you're actively going through here completing all these achievements completing these stamp cards and doing what they require so you guys can get some bonus rewards on top of things like the ticket events and all of the items you can buy in the shops I'm not gonna lie I spent several in-game days not even realizing that this events tab existed and all these extra achievements so definitely make sure you're paying attention to these right away and start tackling them immediately as obviously you're going to get some bonus rewards for doing so now speaking of these achievements there's a couple of tips I want to give you the very first one when it comes to eating all of the desserts and eating all of the meals that you can buy via the different shops inside of the Maji market click escape on your keyboard go to the settings in the game but you can actually turn on a setting that allows you to eat even when you are full what this will allow you to do is actually be able to bulk eat these items so if you are looking to complete this achievement right away instead of waiting for your focus bar to actually be depleted you can go ahead and just spam eat all these items buy them all from the shop and then you can complete these achievements immediately now I know this method isn't for every single player and it's necessarily not the ideal way of utilizing the focus but if you are an achievement whore and you are looking to complete these achievements 
units as fast as possible to get these bonus rewards like some of these cosmetics and place them on your home plot well this is just an easy and efficient way to do it now the next tip brings us to the fireworks just like the desserts and the other dishes if you go to Najuma's stand and specifically the cash register you can buy all the fireworks that are currently available I highly recommend just buying them all and then just mass shooting them because for shooting all of them you'll actually complete another achievement once again here to collect some additional stamps to get bonus rewards and speaking of fireworks and another achievement to complete I'll show you guys something really cool if you run around and you actually hit on every one of these drums for a grand total of seven drums if you happen to be the last person to hit the seventh drum it will then open up a giant fireworks like finale show which is really really cool in itself but you actually activate and complete another achievement and then now the last but not least tip that I have for the Maji market is going to be all of the quests that you can do inside of Maji market majority of them you can actually complete even after the market has closed for the night or for the day I guess at 3 a.m. if you are required to talk to some of the NPCs you can actually talk to these NPCs back in Killama during the day on certain parts of the quest to actually complete them same thing goes here for a quest like locate the runway choppas you obviously have to collect and locate all five of the choppas inside of the Maji market well even if it is like after 3 a.m. and let's say it's 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. these actually still appear so you can go ahead and collect all five of them and then actually complete the quest line even though the Maji market is closed and that my friends is officially going to wrap up our video for today on everything that you guys need to know for the Maji market if you guys have any additional questions let me know down below in the comment section or I actually invite you guys to join my discord you can always find that link down below in the description I'm trying to build a awesome community all around Palea and other cozy games like it with that being said though guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything Palea related and with that being said as always guys I'll see you on the next one